Let's talk about the difference between a jerk and a narcissist. A narcissist versus a jerk. Now, a jerk, somebody can be a jerk and you really won't be able to tell right off the bat. Like right away, you can't just really tell that this person is a jerk until they present some unfavorable behaviors or characteristics to show you, okay, here we go. This person is 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 what I'm saying it is. He's a jerk, right? Because they'll do something that it just is just way off base, and they just do something to be a nuisance, to you know, you know, be annoying, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. A jerk, a narcissist. Now you're talking about something that's different. You're talking about a person. Whose personality is affected in a certain way. Okay? A person who's presenting behaviors that are questionable, that sometimes are, you know, don't make sense, that are crazy. Okay? There's a personality disorder here. A jerk may not necessarily suffer from a personality disorder versus a narcissist who may have issues stemming from dealing with personality disorders. You know, a narcissist is a person who's completely looking to, you know, be this focal point of everyone's attention and tries to control the same people that he's receiving the attention from, you know, he's taking the power away from folks, okay? A jerk doesn't really operate in that fashion. A jerk can be selfish but not have a personality disorder. A jerk can be, you know, uh, uh, greedy, but, you know, not necessarily do these things on purpose, per se, you know, to get their way. They're just being a fool, okay? Or they're just being, you know, they're behaving in a way where it's just problematic to you, but beneficial to them, but it has nothing to do with, it's not necessarily connected with their personality, okay? A narcissist can present issues that'll make you feel like you're crazy. They can present issues that may, to you, seem completely illogical, but they'll make you feel like you're crazy. A narcissist can also manipulate the hell out of you, okay? A jerk can too, but a narcissist, their main, you know, one of their main modus operandi is to manipulate, to receive, to, to, you know, benefit from whatever it is that they're trying to take away from you or others. Okay, that's another difference between a narcissist and a simple and a jerk. You know, human beings are complex, yes, but when you're talking about a jerk, let's keep it in the jerk category and a narcissist in a narcissist category, two separate categories. Okay, okay, a narcissist, again, manipulates. A narcissist can actually, one minute they adore you, one minute they're showering you with love, but it's it's not love that they're giving you. It's something that they're doing to bait you. A jerk can just be just clueless that, you know, that they're a fool. They're not doing these things, you know, with the, with the, um, desire per se or the determination per per se to take anything away from you they just you know recklessly (laughs) 
acting a fool or or doing things that again create some type of chaos for the people who are on the receiving end of the jerk's behavior a narcissist it's entirely different a narcissist can prey on those who are codependent you know those who feel that they need to take care of someone and when a narcissist has that person in wrapped around their finger it's pretty much to the level of where they are com in complete control of the other person if the other person is unaware of what's taking place okay it's to the point where the narcissist can make them feel like they're you know you adore them like they're the the best things is sliced bread they shower them with fake love notice the operative word operative word is fake fake love fake support attention and the minute that something goes wrong or goes left or is not in the favor of the narcissist the devaluation phase comes in where the same person that they loved is someone who they now hate is someone who they now cannot stand is it they they develop the level of disdain for that person and this happens very quickly in in relatively short quick periods of time to one minute it's one thing and then like a light switch it's something else almost like a dr jekyll mr Hyde, but not not quite that way but it it's just Everything will be fine one moment and the next moment moment it'll be it could be something else entirely different. A jerk can generally move in a way where you know things are not as uh hyper or not as intense as 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 what the narcissist presents a jerk could be a little bit more mild and and you know because a jerk is not dealing with the personality flaw you know they're just being who they are it could be a behavior issue that you know can easily be modified that's not the case for a narcissist these are just a couple examples of the difference between being a jerk <laughs> and being a narcissist okay a narcissist of course another example is a narcissist would have to also if they recognize that they have this challenge may you know want to seek professional help to help manage the personality disorder a jerk can just possibly just you know realize hey listen you know instead of being greedy or instead of you know cursing a lot or instead of being selfish they could just you know modify stop doing those things altogether without the help of a professional without the help of a counselor without the help of a psychiatrist without the help of a psychotherapist or a clinician a mental health clinician you know so there you go that's just a snapshot you know a brief overview of that I was able to um, come up with, with uh, the, you know, distinguishing the differences between it, being a jerk and a narcissist or versus a narcissist. If you like the video, like, share, and subscribe, leave a comment, okay? Um, you know, jot down your thoughts, start a discussion. Until next time, be well.